Hey, it's Ivy Chanel here. All right, something that I encountered um, that I I learned maybe like, you know, like last year or so. I was praying to God and I was getting frustrated because I'm a mommy, I'm a wife, and I'm myself too. I don't want to forget about myself and who I am. And I found that it was a big, big struggle to be able to start my morning routine and still be a mom. I listen to Terry Savelle Foy a lot, and there's a couple things that she says, you know, you change your routine, you change your life. If you go, you start off with a good morning routine, then you will pretty much be set for the rest of the day. And if you do that consistently, it will work for you. So my thing was, okay, let me get on this let me get it done. You know, I'm going to start my morning routine. I'm going to do better. I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to achieve that. I'm going to start my day right, like Terry said. And what happened was I'm trying to get into this morning routine. I'm trying to do my five first things during the day um, in the morning. And while I'm doing that thing, my daughter comes in, who's five, who's six, my daughter comes in, mommy, I need this. Mommy, I need that. Or my husband needs this. Or, honey, do you, I have to go to work. Have you, have you seen my wallet? You know, and then I have to interrupt myself and interrupt, interrupt my wonderful routine to go attend to my family. And so the question in my head is, okay, do I not take care of my family in the mornings? Do I be selfish and just make sure I'm taking care of myself? Or do I scrap my whole morning routine, go attend to my family, they're taken care of, I feel fulfilled for them, but I don't feel fulfilled for me. What do I do? So I did what I know to do best. I went before God and I prayed and I said, Lord, I need you to help me know what to do in this situation. I want to start my day off in prayer, exercising and um, making my morning, doing my morning meditations, um, reading my scriptures in the morning and, and then writing down my agenda, you know, for, for the day, what do I do? And at first I thought what I could do is I can do everything at night. I can prepare as much as I can at night. And that way in the morning, my family has everything they need. And then they wouldn't ask me for anything because they already have, I prepare breakfast, you know, all they have to do is warming up. I prepare school bags already ready. All they have to do is grab them. I make sure my husband's wallet is exactly where he knows where to find it and the lotion because he always asks me for the lotion, even though it's in the same place every single day. I make sure I put a note on the lotion for him so he knows where the lotion is. I mean, everything. I was like, yeah, dotting my eyes, crossing my T's. They're not going to need anything. Mommy got it covered. And then the next day, it was the same thing. It was other things like, yeah, they found everything I prepared, but then other things they needed that I didn't prepare for. So God gave me the answer. He said, look, and this answer might not be the same for everyone, but it's what God told me while I was praying. And maybe it might help some of you. And that was, you cannot cater your life like everyone else. Everyone is in a different phase of their life. Terry is has children who are adults now or, you know, late in their uh, the college age. You can't do your morning routine like she does her morning routine. What you can do is, is incorporate me in everything you do. And I was like, wow, okay, well, how do I do that, Lord? And he said, look, while you are preparing the kids' clothes in the morning or ironing the clothes, Sing praises unto me, sing worship songs, sing songs of thanksgiving to me, praise me and worship me while you're ironing. When you go to make breakfast, dance before me in the kitchen while I go to get the lunch bag out of the pantry onto the refrigerator on my way to the refrigerator. I'm dancing before the Lord like David did, you know, <laughs> I'm praising my God. I'm, I'm giving him thanks in the morning. And then he said, incorporate me in all things. If you can't sit down and bow your knees and read the scriptures in the morning, 
use technology, you know, that your husband's always telling you to utilize. You use the technology that, that you have in the house. Turn the TV, connect it to your Alexa, you know, whatever you have to do. Connect it to your phone. Play your phone. Play the Bible app on your phone. Listen to the scriptures out loud. You know, as you hear the word of God, your faith builds up, right? So listen to the word of God on the on your from your phone, you know. While you're doing your morning routine, incorporate me in it. And I tell you that changed my life because I was thinking that I was missing out, missing out on uh, on being able to just create the structure for myself because I have a family. But no, 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 no. You don't have to substitute yourself for your family or your family for yourself. You don't. You can be fulfilled as a wife, as a mother, as a as a woman. You can still be fulfilled and you can still do everything that you want to do. It, it's no compromise. It's just knowing how to do it, how to do it. Someone asked me before, they said, Ivory, do you think that women can have it all? And I think it was an article I read about it too. When I was, I was a teenager, when I read this, do you think women can have it all? And what is all? That is being financially stable, having a good family and having, um, many people consider like a, a good business or good career. Okay. I'll repeat it again. Being financially stable, having a, a good family successful household, you know, a husband, all that. And then lastly, having a good career or business. And I would add having a personal relationship with God. That wasn't in the survey, but I would add having a personal relationship with God. And some of those people in that survey, they some of the women said, no, you can't have it all. And other women say, yes, you can. What I discovered is you can have it all. It's not that you can't have it, you can have it all, but not all at the same time. No, you can have it all. You can have it all because with God, all things are possible. So if you believe it and you seek God to give you the principles and to follow in the routines and how to structure those routines, women don't just need to know what to do right now. We need to know how to do it. So that's how to do it. You go before God in prayer. You ask God, God, based on my life, based on my lifestyle and where I am, the age of my kids right now, how do I accomplish this? And I tell you what, as you seek God, he will answer you. And as you're consistent and you keep practicing this, you'll get on a new level. You'll get on another level and be able to wake up, you know, 5 a.m., 4, 30 a.m. in the morning. Believe me, it's possible. And start your morning routine before your children, before your husband and your spouse even wake up in the morning. So you have to start somewhere though. But like I said, trust me, as you are consistent, as you trust God, he will see you through. I'm Ivory Chanel.